The following program is intended for mature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Previously on Steel City Gods. Keep in mind that she only been in two days though, but I guess two days, two hours. I don't give a damn. I want that hoe's legs in the air tonight. Frank got kidnapped. Police ain't telling us nothing. But they did say there was a great man with a with a PA license plate. If anybody can find any information on it, I know it'll be you. Alright. Give me a few days, I'ma look into this. And I'ma get back with y'all. Man, I got this young tender for you, man. Your mom just OD, ultimate junkie. Never signed up for school. No hospital business. It's just like the little girl don't exist. Can't do nothing with that, man. Ten years old, they at least gotta be bleeding or something, man. Give y'all 20 racks a piece. That's 40 bands, man. That's what I've been working. They by the phone, I'm gonna have my man hit you up for the time and place. Their tennis place is called the Babylon. Henry, I'm here to help you. I just can't believe this. The new guy, Hassan, brought you in about a month ago. But he seems to have special interest in you. He's been checking up on you. So I think we're going to be okay. I told you that was him. Man, how the hell did you get out? You split on 15 years of free for I, let's just see what they up to. I mean, these cats we fucking with. Supposedly, they need to be fucked with. What time did I come take me home now? In a minute, babe. I'm your Uncle Lack. I'm gonna take you to get some ice cream. Okay. I'm scared for my life. I can't imagine what you're going through. I did not sign up for none of this. Where she at, man? She in the back seat. We got the money. Yeah, we got the money, but we ain't got our day. We gotta see what she looking like. Come on. Ah, uh, look, we good. Yeah, we good, we good. Let's get out of here, man. Mm -hmm. I'm still city guard. anywhere near Darren Stone. No, I'm telling you, we watched a nun pedophile make some sort of exchange with a very young girl, and you're sitting here talking to me about being around Stone? Stone? You're the reason the conviction was overturned. We had all the evidence to put him behind bars. We didn't need anybody tampering with evidence. Cap, in her defense, we don't know who tampered with evidence. I can't prove it, which is the only reason she still has her job, but I know it was her. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I do know what I saw the other night. Listen, Cap, there was some shady shit going on. We was in a very secluded area, no backup, and I know them bastards were strapped. And we all know Stone is a shooter. So what do we have? What did you witness? A little girl get out of one car to another? In a pitch dark park? At one o'clock in the morning? Come on, cat. Yeah, that's not normal. Were you able to see where they took the girl? It was dark in the park. We had to put some distance so our headlights didn't give off her position. And by the time we caught up with them, the guys with the girl were gone. But we were able to see where Stone and his man went. The room was there. They went into this apartment building downtown in the alleyway off of Liberty Avenue. Okay, listen up. I want you two to pull up and see what they got going on. Thank you, Kat. Yeah, thanks, Kat. And Sabrina? Yes? Don't make me regret this decision. I would never do that.
Yo, what's good, bro? Same old shit. What's up with you, both? It ain't shit. You looking good, man. Hey, I wanted to rap to you, man. That boy who did all that time, he driving in the wrong lane. We might have to get together and see if he got to take his test over, man, because this shit might not work out. Yeah, fam. Brio and mentioned something about that nigga going over the speed limit. I tell you what, come scoop me up, man, and we'll rap. All right. All right, bet. All right, one. Boom, I'm coming down now, fam. What's going on with this nigga, man? Shit, man, I know, you, I know you cool. You go back with this nigga, his son, man. But I think he might have did too much time, man. He just ain't built for this shit, man. I think, I think that shit might have made him soft, man. Man, yeah, man, bro hit me up. He was telling me that, man. And the thing is, man, sometimes these niggas, you know, they stand tall when they take their case, when they get their charges. They get their time. They stand tall. They don't rat. They go in and do their time and realize this ain't where it's supposed to be. And all that thoroughness they had before then, it ain't in them no more. You know what I mean? I, I feel you. I was rapping to Brill. He was talking about like how the nigga was bitching when he scooped him up from the Greyhound station. The nigga complaining, talking about he ain't signed up for this type of job. He ain't know what he was getting into. Nah, the nigga keep popping up trying to check on the bitch, man. You know, at this point, man, I think he just might be a liability, man, for what we got going on. You know what I'm saying? And you might be right. That after that night, the nigga, the nigga kept hitting me. I mean, blowing me up back to back, back to back, back to back. He was blowing me up so much, man. I just tossed the phone out the window. You know what I mean? I ain't, I ain't talked to the nigga since, man. I feel you. Like I'm saying, bro, I know that's your guy, man. I know he could have told on you. You know he could have lessened this time, but that nigga ain't the same nigga from 14, 15 years ago, man. Listen, listen, there ain't too many niggas I fully trust with my life, but you're one of them. You know what I'm saying? Your interpretation of a motherfucker being liable, I'm going to take that shit to heart. You know what I mean? If you tell me this motherfucking duck can pull this truck, I'm going to tell a motherfucker hook the chains up and pull this motherfucker. If you say this nigga Hassan is a liability, then let's make that nigga not be able to be liable. Roger that. Say less. I'll holler at you. All right, bet. Yeah, 
That shit went smoother than I thought. Hell yeah, them niggas was there to handle business, just like we was. Right? I still want to know who that was in the car behind us when we came out that park. Yeah, that shit was weird as fuck. Who the fuck be down there at this time of night? You feel me? Man, I swear if them niggas was on some fuck shit, I'm going to put them niggas in some polka dot shirts. Yeah, that was weird as fuck. Them niggas want to explain that shit. No question. Man, who this, man? Hans, what's up, man? DT, what's going on with you? What's up, DT, man? I've been trying to get at you for weeks, man. You was a hard dad to track down. I know, fam. I've been out of town on some business, man. But listen, uh, I'm going to sit down and rap to you, man. Um, you available? Man, that's all I've been trying to do, man. What's good? All right. Well, meet me at, at the Babylon in about an hour, if you can. Man, say less, man. On my way. All right, bet. Sure enough, you sitting down? I think I found April. I need you to call Misha, tell her to pack a bag, because we going to Pittsburgh. Hey, MOG, I don't want to take all your money, man. I ain't going to take shit. Man, you got to tighten up, man. But listen, I got this nigga song coming over, right? Mm hmm And if he ain't saying the right shit, I want you to blow a hole in the back of his head. The signal is me getting up from the seat. You're going to be sitting in the booth behind us. And I'm going to ask him some questions. And if it ain't to my liking, his answers ain't to my liking, I want you to blow a hole in the back of his head. If I get up from this seat, it's a wrap for him. Mm -hmm. Coming like this? Man, you know where we from. We know what it is. You sure I'll get this back to you when we get done. Alright, man, man, be gentle with it. Oh shit. What's going on? Nothing, man. Get out. Hey, what's all this bullshit I've been hearing, man? That you you unhappy with your uh job description. Hey, man, I didn't get that many details at the beginning, but I see what it is, man. Let's make it do what it do. Oh, nah, man, I just want to make sure what I'm doing is good for the program, man. Making sure everything 100. And you going to visit the bitch is going to make that is going to make that better? Man, man, you know how long I've been locked down. I didn't see grown ass men spit that game to other grown ass men and put them down. So you don't think I can do that with a bitch? So what's your what's your angle with the bitch? Make sure she trusts us. Make sure she good. Make sure she ain't plotting no bullshit. Not trying to run, trying to make sure she do what needs to be done to make sure we making these funds. So you are all right with everything that's going on here? Whether it's bricks or bitches, man, you know I'm going to be on it. You know, had me a little skeptical, man. They was telling me that you didn't like the the job, you know what I'm saying? You didn't sign up for for the job and all that type of I talk right there. I was a little surprised on what it was, man. I'm going to be on it. That's what I like to hear, man. That's what I like to hear. Well, you know, moving forward, man. Uh, you know, just just try to tighten up around around those dudes, man. Those dudes, they straight killers, man. You know what straight, I mean? Straight, and straight. you know, if they think something wrong, man, they might just blow your top back. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you just gotta calm your boys down. Let them know it's all one hundred with me, man. They don't gotta sell me short. Nah, right. but listen, make sure you get you a drink from Ronnie before you leave, man. No, man. Appreciate right. what you did. For me. I'll hit you up soon, man. Let you know what's what's next. Say less, my man. <laughs> Fuck you and get yourself in two degrees, motherfucker. We're gonna take you out. <laughs> Hope you know what you're getting yourself into, man. Right? You know what I'm talking about? Come on. Same old thing. It's good. You probably want to sleep, man. 
man, we gonna let let the nigga live, man. He, you know what I mean? He act like he uh he with the program. Maybe y'all just misunderstood what he was what he was saying. Man, I feel you, man. But just just keep an eye on the nigga, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just keep him close and keep an eye on. Him. And, and if we get out of line in any way, shape, or form, pop his head. Right? Yeah. All right, no, I'm with that. Hit that, yeah. All right, man, listen up, listen up. When we open up tonight, I just want to let y'all know that the broad Nikita, she didn't come back last night to the bathroom. Now, last I heard, she went on a date with the nigga Lyle. And she ain't been heard from or seen since. You know, I've been blowing the nigga Lolly up. He's not answering his phone. Nobody has seen the nigga. Her phone goes straight to voicemail. I'm not sure what, what's going on. So whoever bring the nigga Lolly to me, I got a 20K bonus for you. Get her alive. Be cool, Oz, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, the nigga alive. What's up, Ronnie? She missing? Yeah. yeah. That's my bitch. That's my bitch. I promise you if somebody did something to her, I'm going to put a hole in so big that mama could walk through it. Listen. Yeah. Your mama could walk through it. You might have that opportunity. He might not even have did nothing with the bitch. He might be pussy whipped and laid up somewhere with her. But I'm just saying, I need some answers, man. No, that's my bitch. You know what I mean? She makes she make a lot of money. Rushed up, but alive. Rushed up, but alive. Man, just just get them here. So that's my bitch. Honey. So we're gonna find out what happened first. You know what I mean? There's some some of these some of the bras can go out on their own. You know what I mean? Who have earned their way? Now Nikita already proved that she's loyal to the soil, so she can go on dates. You know what I mean by herself. But the rest of them, they they can't. You know what I mean? So hopefully she all right. But if not. <laughs> She was with that nigga Lolly last. So I want to talk to him and see what's up. Say less. All right. Let's try to get this money tonight, man. Be safe. You know what I mean? Make sure all the girls are safe. And um, <laughs> let's get this money. Very Bet. If it ain't, one and only look on. What up, what up, what up? This must be important. What's going on? Man, what up? Where your uh, partner, Bird at? Don't worry about it. I'm all right. I represent the folks. What's going on? All right, man. I got a mission. It's a little dangerous. Don't you always. Everything is dangerous around here. What's up? Swear. Man, it's this nigga, Dantana, from my Pittsburgh. Oh, okay. He is selling motherfuckers like... Like human trafficking? Not like human trafficking. It is human trafficking. How reliable is this source? Man, my source is good. I swear. Okay, so what is that? Man, my partner that got killed in two, uh, 2018. Yeah, you're right here. What's up? Yeah, man, his little sister Shauna, she came to me. And her best friend, April, got kidnapped in the parking garage down in the flats. And we just trying to figure out who got her. So I need to know how many exits there is, how many niggas is in there. They got them chained up, caged up. Like, what exactly need to happen when we get there? See, man, that's what I got y'all for. Man, let me ask you something else. Yeah. Is this girl April, she got kids? Man, hell yeah, she got a little son, he's 10 years old. All right, we gonna, we, all right, we definitely gonna bring her back to the land. Oh, I know, I can count on y'all. Never definitely. a problem. You got that, right? Hell yeah. <laughs> It's all baby. there. I'll say, you <laughs> yeah, know how you get there. down. <laughs> it's all there. All right, baby. Bye. I'll take care of it.
look y'all I got some information about April so I'm gonna need y'all to pack y'all shit get ready we're gonna head out in about an hour dang already man we gotta get to it all right well we're gonna pack our stuff and we'll see you in the app hey, 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 Tess. So, uh, have you talked to my mom then? No, uh, not yet. She be home? Yeah, she'll be home soon. Did you promise? Take your promise. Scambo, what up, fam? Hey, listen, man, I need you to get uh, get in touch with Cooley. Yeah, tell him to get over here, man. I need to holler at him. S sooner rather than later. What you into? Come on, man, you stay over there on that critical hunk type shit, man, lifting them weights and shit. Uh, I feel that, I feel that, but yeah, man, Get in touch with him, man. Tell him to come over here and holler at me. ASAP. All right? And don't hurt yourself with all them weights, brother. Yeah, everything's still good. Everything's still good on that tip. All right. All right. One. We're going to get to the bottom of this shit. Okay, one thing I don't understand about Nikita is how they let her go out unaccompanied and she really comes back on her own. I know, but from what I understand, she's one of Van Tennis' best girls and she's been here for a long ass time. Really? But still, like, why is she coming back? Who knows? I mean, Van Tennis has a long reach around here. I'm talking about politicians, police, and judges on the payroll. She probably knew she wasn't going to get too far. Well, do you think we'll be able to ever, like, go out by ourselves just to do our thing? I mean, hopefully, but we definitely have to prove ourselves to him. I'm talking about earn his trust and his loyalty. Well, if I ever get the chance to go out on a company, I'm guaranteeing you I'm not coming back here. I'm and not. Where are you going to go? I don't April, know. April, we don't even know who we are. Listen, the first night I got here, this one girl tried to run. She was screaming the whole night, and she's never been seen since. Damn. I mean, that is scary as hell, but what are we supposed to do? We cannot just sit here listen, and, listen, I have a family, I have a son to get back to. I can't wait for all of that. So if I don't get back to him, I'm going to die trying. I'm going to. But we all have family. Every single one of us have family. We've all been trying. Well, we all need to fight a little bit harder because we're not getting nowhere. Well, what I've been hearing is this is how it works. You work for Babylon, then the streets, and then you become an escort. I mean, that's who Nikita was. No, no, I'm not com becoming an escort. That's that's one thing I'm not going to do. Like I said, I will get to my son or die trying, and that's just the end of it. I hear you.
going on? Come on. Yeah, he in there. Right. Can you me hit you up real quick, man? How you been? You been hot? Yeah. My man, he's out there. PD treat you, man. Better than you are. Haven't seen you in a month. I know, man. I've been busy in a motherfucker, man. But listen, uh, I called you here for some serious shit, man. What's going on? I'm all ears. Listen, there's a, a guy in my crew whose actions, let's say, is has been a little bit questionable. And um, I just want to make sure the nigga's keeping it a bean with me, you know what I mean? So I want to get a little surveillance up on the nigga. Oh, shit. Who we talking about? The nigga is son, man. You know, he just came home and, you know what I mean? Uh, all I know is niggas be solid, you know what I mean? But, you know, they say people change, you know? And after all that time, I ain't 100% sure that the nigga is who I thought he was. So I want to, uh, you know, put a little surveillance on the nigga. What you looking for? 24 hour surveillance? Nah, nah, nothing like that. Maybe just put a wire on the nigga's phone and maybe a track on his car, man, so I could see where he's going, and who the fuck the nigga talking to. Don't worry about it, I'm on it. I'll have the wire up in a day or two, and I'll get uh, we'll report back to you within a week and let you know what that nigga's up to. That's what I like to hear. See, that's why I like fucking with you, Cooley, man. You be on top of it, man. But listen, man, before you go, man, I want you to have a drink with me, man, because it's been a while. Uh, come on, man, you know I'm on duty. Listen, man, I insist, man. We got to start this relationship back off right, you know? Plus, I got a little something for you, man. It's been a while, man, since, you know, you had your payment. So, you know, there you go. I should keep you happy for a minute. Sure enough. All right, uh, yeah, holler at me, man, when you, um, when you get that up. I got you. My man. Not like human traffic. It is human traffic. The tone in the city of Pittsburgh is sunny, 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 sunny. I'm still city guard.